So you scale it until you get the rounded shape. All right, you've seen that. That would be your mid poly. All right, so right click, get to the object. You can see 164, remember the display situation, up display, uh, select your poly count so you can see the poly count of your scene, first of all. All right, oops, that was on the right one. Poly count mainly. You can see the poly count of your scene, the poly count of an object. This is 164 try, that's pretty good. Make a new layer, we'll call it um, you know mid poly. Alright, get out of that one. This is low poly. This is low poly right here. Put them in orders. Mid poly is right. So let me get rid of that one. No, I want the mid poly. That's selected. Bang, bang. And we are going to work on the high poly now. And the high poly is really easy. You just basically um, run up the edges again by adding another loop. And in the others, actually, we are going to, well, we can do that right here. Right here. That is the same thing that we did for both of them, all corners, basically. And you can go as far now, though, if you're really picky, frankly, go back and replace it properly. And you have added a lot of stuff, so now you can replace even more. Like now, for example, I said earlier, that one right here can be definitely put down. And those ones can be really put properly. And the more you have points, the better off you are. Now that needs to be straight up. We want a straight line as much as possible. Okay, beside that looks pretty good. You see that same thing here. That's what we need to do here. Right. And what's going on here? Did I mess up something? Yeah, I must have. Hold on. Always check in the 3D view. My camera, because of the recording, is doing some time. Uh, but hey, now you want to do some selection. Uh, let me see. I see a little bump. No, that's good. Uh, on the side, like we talked about. So basically, you are going to go and right click vertex level click on shift right here now you can scale you know you probably have them all and you look at it and you just sorry scale them in both axes and you know And you can also go to edges, uh, double click on one little edge, it'll go all around basically. And you can pump it up a little bit if you really want to like that also. And be careful with that because that deforms the object shapes after a little texturing. That's it, that's your actual model, that's your eye poly. Now you also, right here, your eye poly. Uh, 